The European Union is on a collision course with China as the bloc steps up its interest to become a global leader of the icy continent, a geopolitical expert has warned in an exclusive interview with Express. Brussels is increasingly not only looking north, to the Arctic, but also south, to its polar opposite as an area of interest for the future. The Antarctic region and issues pertaining to it, particularly research, climate awareness and ocean governance, have slowly emerged on the policy agenda in recent years. In theory, the region is protected under the Antarctic Treaty System, a global pact signed in 1959 to preserve and protect the continent for scientific research and provide a safeguard against nuclear proliferation. But, with its influence over so many of the member states of the treaty, the EU will attempt to shape future policies in Antarctica, Royal Holloway Professor of Geopolitics Klaus Dodds has told Express. He said, I think the EU is a polar power and it has multiple interests, some of which is simply about being an organization of 27 states. For example, in the Arctic, there are obviously EU member states like Finland and Sweden that are Arctic nations. Then in the Antarctic, France is an EU member state, but also an Antarctic claimant, Norway is too and an associate member. For the moment, we are transitioning from the EU, but until recently we were an EU state and a claimant state. But we've seen the EU invest heavily in polar science in both the Arctic and the Antarctic as part of its interest in climate change. Professor Dodds, who is also an honorary fellow of the British Antarctic Survey, says the EU sees itself as a global power, which will use this influence to push its own agenda in the likes of fishing. He added, they are also a huge fishing actor, interested in commercial fishing in both the Southern Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. The EU also thinks of itself as a global power, so being involved in the government of the Arctic and Antarctic would be considered as in its best strategic interest. So you've got a variety of issues by which the EU becomes interested in both the polar regions, it might be through France, it might be climate change, it might be environmental protection, but it will be resources and it will be strategic interest. It's in their interest that peaceful collaborative government prevails over spaces like the Antarctic. I think the EU will have an impact on things like funding. China is currently stepping up its interests in Antarctica, building more icebreaker ships, in what experts have already warned could lead to future tension. It is also trying to contest marine protected areas, to allow for more fishing, which some believe is a proxy for mineral mining.